So, rise times. This time, first attempt, 74 HC14. <laughs> I should say that I'm no expert in this, and obviously this was my first circuit, but like all many others, this circuit was complete copied from W2AEW. The other guys after that, uh, inside guy, etc, etc. So, uh, I'll put the diagrams and the links up. And this basically... Uh, it's just following in the footsteps of what they've done many many years ago apparently so there you have it 74 HC 14 it's on a dip design and uh, let's see how it does so got it hooked up we have the output signal coming through the chip channel 2 and I've also hooked up channel 1 to take the capacitor discharge to see what it looks like so, if we power up the circuit, we get the capacitor discharging and recharging and essentially it acts as an oscillator to control the timing of the output signal. And once again, more details from the two channels as linked below. First mistake I made was that I got the capacitor discharge, capacitor values wrong and therefore it's operating at a very low frequency but, uh, well, no expert am I. Um, if we go down and we zoom in and let's just take a look at the rise times and if we go down 10 nanoseconds let's just zoom there and even down to 5 we're still getting 2.4 nanoseconds 2.4 2.8 and we can go one step down yeah 2.48 2.4 oh jump to 3 yeah 2.4 2.48 which is kind of fun Similarly, we can look at the falling edge, and there you see the graph has changed to the end of the square wave, and maybe about 3, 2.2, 2.4, jumping around a bit, but um, not too bad for a first attempt, I guess. So, that's it. Until more rise time circuits come about, thanks for your time.